Pollution is becoming so bad in countries like South Korea and Thailand that officials are making it rain. And I don't mean metaphorically making it rain with, you know, money to stop the air pollution. I mean, they are literally trying to make the skies rain through weather altering technology. It's called cloud seeding, a technology that's been around for decades. The ability to increase rain or snowfall through cloud seeding. Rain washes the air by stripping particles of pollution from the atmosphere. There's a reason the air smells so fresh after a good storm. Cloud seeding officially dates back to the 1940s, when an atmospheric scientist by the name of Bernard Vonnegut discovered that in a lab setting, particles of the chemical silver iodide could be used to create snow from water vapor. Here's how it works in the field. Scientists find a perfect cloud. Ideally, it's full of water vapor droplets that aren't quite ready yet to fall as rain. Then the team uses a plane or ground tower to shoot silver iodide into the cloud. The particles are like seeds that the water vapor can condense onto, forming droplets. Eventually, those droplets become heavy enough to fall as rain. At least, that's the goal. Accomplishing this outside lab settings can be tricky. Cloud seeding attempts don't always result in rain, and they certainly don't always drop rain where and when seeders would have liked. And wet clouds become even more unlikely when the air is polluted in parts of Southeast Asia. The region's air pollution gets particularly bad during the winter, it's dry season, when fires break out everywhere, throwing organic particles into the air that can create smog. Some of these fires are naturally occurring, others people create to clear land for agriculture. Either way, the dry, cool air that helps spark fires is not the kind of air that creates the ideal cloud for seeding. So can Thai and South Korean governments actually solve their air pollution problems with rain? Well, if they can actually get the cloud to rain, that would certainly help. But it won't solve anything long term. Cutting back air pollution will require serious regulations on pollutants from industry and cars. One third of all deaths related to air pollution happen in this region of the world. And you don't need to control the weather to do something about that. Was that good?